think you ought to have allowed, if I may say so, a standing order, 24, and then it could have been decided by the number of members standing or otherwise as to whether we should have an urgent debate, because we are on a motorway without exit to war, and the basis that has been produced by a PhD student in California who now says that he's against conflict apparently is the heart of what purports to be the intelligence briefing of the British government. The Speaker told him to apply again for a debate tomorrow, but Mr DL wasn't satisfied. Unless it's a new matter, I say to the Father of the House, trivial compared to the question of peace and war. All right. It may be important in, in Northern Ireland for a time. <laughs> order, uh, order, 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 please be seated while I'm standing. Uh, th that is not a matter for, for the chair. Order, we now come on. Or order, 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 speaker. order. Okay. I tell the honourable gen order, I tell the honourable gentleman to resume his seat. Point I'm instructing, order. order, I'm instructing the honourable gentleman to resume his uh, seat. I've been very, order. Please be seated. I'm instructing the honourable gentleman to resume his seat. Well, He's tested the patience of the chair. Oh, he must be seated. Well, I order. I, I, I tell the father of the house to resume his seat. I don't want to. Please. Well, look, if, no. no. I order. I order. The honourable gentleman is treading in very, very dangerous ground. I order. A point of order, order. A point of order. Order. The honourable uh, gentleman must resume his seat. Uh, order. I insist on a parliamentary right. Order. Of putting a point of order. Order. I insist on my right, the speaker, and I tell the honourable gentleman to resume his seat. Well, Mr. Must... Speaker, I insist on putting my point of order. Yeah, and the point of order is this: that in matters of peace and war. The House of Commons is oh, not order, being... order. I say to the Honourable Gentleman that uh, I'm in this situation very reluctantly, but I'll have to tell the Honourable Gentleman to withdraw. Well, Mr Speaker, order. I don't want to cause you embarrassment. I, I order, well, I order. If that is what you wish, Mr DL said, and walked out of the chamber. Well, before that exchange, 